you see. You are, don't open your mouth, huh? <laughs> Between the two nostrils, this is right and this is left. Sun and moon. This, if both nostrils start flowing together, that's called susumna. First of all, when you lie down, first thing you should do, deep diaphragmatic breathing. When you push in your abdomen, that will help your diaphragm, which will push in your lungs, expel the carbon dioxide and used up cash. One thing. Without any retention, you allow your abdomen to come forward. This should be your habit. This by nature, by birth, every child does that. The, this practice can be attained very soon if you do it in savasana, lying down, don't allow your limbs to meet each other. Do this first, then comes the kriya. First thing is exhalation. My target is to go far beyond. You can imagine today. You, see. you have that capacity. Not towards the wall. Don't visualize wall. Open the window where you can see sky. Exhale. When you are exhaling, let you allow your mind to flow with the breath. Because it's the twin laws of life. Your breath and mind. They are the greatest friends. They both live together. They both depend on each other. Why do you not want them to be together? So better learn, allow your mind to flow with your breath. You have no habit. So mind will run here and there. I have my office, I have my business, I have my children. Because mind does that, because mind has bad habits. Other habits, other works. No, you should decide before you do this. No matter what happens, I will ask my mind to remain with the breath only. You see that you cannot go beyond this point. This is called Muladhara. This is a triangular cavity, which is at the base of the spinal column, in which dwells that something which is called power of powers. It is circle, it is coiled this way, like this, you know, like this. Someone say it is two and a half feet, but it is definitely two and a half time coiled. It is here in this cavity. Many names are given there. When she is sleeping here, we are in waking state. Because she is sleeping here, we are still brute. Why is she sleeping here? Because she is utilized, she is intoxicated, she is intoxicant because of the power of consciousness. What happens when you are intoxicant? You forget your home, own home. Her home is actually here. But because of intoxication, she forgets and she is sleeping here. Swadhisthana is her own abode. Swa means her own. Adhisthana means place, abode. Yogis learn to awaken that sleeping like serpent fire. with the help of this. You cannot go far, my breath cannot travel far away, I have not experienced. Okay, I will see. The ending point should be here. Beginning point should be here first. First time. Nitya, you have problem to understand, now understand this. You exhale to this point, then you inhale to this point. From now, you have changed the point. 
you exhale and inhale from the crown of your head to this but first you start from here are you understanding where are you where is she nitya are you understanding now no problem slowly you increase that space in instead of doing this next day you should go up to here after few days take your time one week or 10 days watch the capacity of your breath but your mind should lead it your mind should go follow the breath there should be some predetermination what is that i will when i exhale i will purge i will expel all my thoughts and desires through my mind anything that is within me that hurts me that does damage to my system that creates any uneasiness in my mind and heart and body i want to exhale it then i want to inhale the energy